Femtaro, it's a lot of things going on in the universe right now in regards to the full moon. We, you know, we love to talk about crystals and all that great stuff. Can you tell us what's currently going to happen? It's August 1st. So I know a lot of things are happening in the planets. A lot. So let's start with Lionsgate. I don't know if anyone's heard of Lionsgate, but let me explain. For someone like Kempire who has his moon in Leo and for the Leos out there and for anyone who doesn't have Leo um, in one of their main planets, Lionsgate means that we've entered the sign of Leo, but we also have Mercury aligned with a new moon, which is in Leo, which is on the 8th of August, 8, 8, and mind you, numerology, 8 is a lucky number. It means fortune, not just in numerology, but in Chinese culture too, okay? So that's why we have the infinity symbol is shaped like an 8. Um, red is a very lucky number for the Chinese as well, but it's also uh, a very powerful color in combination with the number eight. So what does Lion Gate, Lion Gate bring or mean? It means that we have a very, very powerful Leo energy around us. And what does that mean? The three C's, okay? We have charisma, creativity, and confidence. These are gonna be amplified. So what you're gonna do is take advantage of those energies that are those three C's and the energies around them and go for what you want because you're going to get it. It's the best. I just got goosebumps. It's the best time to manifest, the best time to go after your, like chase your dreams and go after what you want. You can't, especially we know, well, I don't know if everyone else knows, but I know that eight is your lucky number. It's no coincidence. And I do think that on the eighth, you're going to have, news a big change we know what it is we've talked about it we're not gonna say it i'm pretending like i don't know <laughs> we're not gonna say it though but because it's personal but wait for it and this applies for everyone this is an amazing amazing month for everyone i guarantee and i promise you if you're waiting for money to come in it's gonna come in and it's been delayed you're gonna get it if you're waiting for, um, you've applied for a job and you're waiting for an answer, you're going to get it. Even if it is a rejection, remember, there is a reason for that, okay? The universe is protecting you for, from getting that job because something else is coming your way and it's going to come fast. And then we have the full moon in Aquarius and it's on the 20, let me see, the 22nd of August. Blue moon, we've got a lot going on. That's also super powerful energy as well. And I want to say about the full moon in Aquarius. Aquarius is about bringing people together, about the collective, about charity, philanthropy, and all that. So there is a high possibility. And I, have, I haven't I have spoken about it publicly, but I will say it now. I told Kempire about this. I, uh, not just me, but a lot of psychics and mediums out there, we are predicting that something huge is going to happen in August, okay, which is going to affect all of us. I don't want to freak out anyone, but it's very hard for us to pinpoint. We're not being shown what it is, but l as of lately, I've been feeling that it's going to be sort of like an extreme um, climate event or situation. Um, I do feel the water element a lot. Um, I told Kempire, uh, I think a week ago, was it Kemp, that I told you I feel it's, it might be a tsunami, but I'm still, I'm still feeling that vibe. So I do feel it's going to be around the full moon in Aquarius, but it's a good thing because if it happens around that time, it means that it happened to bring us together and a lot of things are going to change. So scientifically, um, innovations, new innovations. And I also feel that in the next few months, we're going to have amazing news about, um, uh, um, let's say, uh, what, therapy. Therapy for something huge. Could be about cancer or some kind of form of cancer, but there's going to be a breakthrough. So, Wow. Wow. wow.